shows that she can't lose sight of the objectives when she gets into... And up in the raw box in the middle there is a lady who taught me how to serve, believe it or not. That's Mrs. Kitty Godfrey, and it was my first final when I saw her in 1924 her playing Helen Wills when she beat two sets to one. So it's Hannah Mandelkeiter to start. Fifteen love. That's a great pass. And here, Martina showing no signs of tension whatsoever. She hits into that beautifully. Good position. She was a great love, but Martina hit it quite well. But Hannah stepped in and played that on the half volley. Well, that was a very interesting game indeed. There were two half volley winners that were made by uh, by Hannah. One deep to the baseline, and that uh, half volley pass into the open court. And that's a shot that uh, needs fine timing and uh, your eye right in. So obviously, it's a good start for uh, the challenger. I think Dan that the scene looks set for a very close match here, a very tough battle. It was interesting to me that um, Martina won the toss and yet elected to receive. Now, that's a tactic that Chris has employed before now, but I've uh, not known Martina think of that one. I suppose that maybe going through her mind was that Hannah might be a little nervous in the opening game and that Martina might be able to take advantage of that to get a quick break. But Hannah <coughs> Mandakova had other ideas and she certainly served, Time. not confidently, but well enough and Martina made a couple of errors which helped her. And just as they go back to their respective places to tell you that they've played 24 times and uh, Martina has won 18 of them. Miss Navratilova to serve. a sign of the new fan maturity of Hannah. She sees that serve coming and picks the gap. Seven. 
second service. Fifteen thirty. Here's a surprise. It's a very good return of service, but Martina misjudges it completely and it drops well in. 1540. 30, 40. Deuce. So from 1540 to Deuce. <laughs> Advantage, Miss Mandlikova. Lovely return of serve from the right court, that one. Shot on. Absolutely. Yes, again, Hannah really settling down quickly on that. She slipped but recovered. Game is Mandlikova. And places that Mandlikova to perfection. Leads two games to love. So what a start for Anna Mandlikova. First service. First yes. service. This is one of the most astonishing runners I've seen for a long time. She slips, thrusting in to get her to the net. She recovers, advances to the net very courageously, beautifully plays that smash, and there is beaten by a really magnificent shot from the holder of the title. On an extraordinary rally. And it's 15 all. Thirty, fifteen. 
40-15. Now that's an unusual shot for uh, Martina to miss, and obviously a little bit uh, hangry with herself there. A backhand volley pass is one of the very, very uh, good shots indeed. Over leads three games to love first set and here Hannah is in superb control of this rally she plays a lovely volley there Martina backhand was not wide enough and that one certainly is wide enough but look how athletically Hannah moves across to that and then produces the superb touch needed for that short angled volley and this we can see now from Hannah's point of view how she plays this behind the service line when she played that first volley, moving in as she should, and here comes the kill. Again, beautiful upright poise of her body and superb racket control. Lovely touch, she really is playing superbly well at the moment. And I was just thinking, a lot of people thought she might have left her great play behind after she'd beaten Mrs. Lloyd. She's come out here today and those three games, she's even improved on it, I think. Time. Yes, I suppose so. It's amazing what confidence does for you. But of course, she did that at the United States Open Championships last year. She beat Chrissy, and then um, lots of people thought she wasn't going to play as well in the final, but she came out and took on Martina and beat her there too. The surprising thing is that she hasn't won a tournament since. She's obviously timed the height of her career for today. So far, anyway. Not three. That's it. Fifteen love. Fifteen all. Thirty-fifteen. All the fine anticipation there. Forty-fifteen. Martina is starting to get into her stride. She's centering the volleys for the first time in the match, but Hannah still picks the spot. Deuce. And 15 to Deuce. Game is Nebraska. Miss Mandlikova leads three games to one. So the holder of the title, having uh, 
Got her name the game on the scoreboard. She's only won two uh, two points against two service games, so she'll be down to this, I think. Fifteen and the court proving behind the baseline is a little bit slippery where the grass is worn and Martino is a little bit uh, in trouble just uh, right out in the corner of the court there. It's Fifteen love. Hannah a beautiful serve, almost on the line, Martina scrambling it back, and Hannah composing herself, not rushing into those easy looking shots. And I think the feel and touch on that backhand lob will uh, certainly help the confidence of Martina. Nice, uh, nice stroke. Uh. And now Martina is showing off how she got to number one in the world. Hannah completely stranded with that one. Mandlikova. The quality of that serve, taking Martina right out of court, making the volley uh, simple into an open court. Okay, Miss Mandlikova. Mandlikova leads four games to one, first set. And in doing so, I think she's shown everybody here what a difference between the girl who lost in the final in 1981 and the girl playing today. A tremendous match sort of uh, uh, endeavor here, not wasting shots. And Virginia, well, I, she... would think, I would think perhaps uh, Martina a little bit nervous now. Well, Hannah hasn't given her a chance to really get into the match, nor has Hannah made any uh, errors, and that is the big difference. But it's so strange to me, Dan, to see Martina slowing things down, and she actually said to herself in that first service game of hers when she was in trouble, she said, slow down. And you, you so used to see Martina just going faster and faster and overwhelming the opponent. That, that definitely shows us that she's trying to Time. stem the flood of winners that are coming from Hannah. In fact, it looked to me as if she was just surprised by the pace of the shot coming off uh, Hannah's racket. And that is possible, seeing she hasn't hit anybody, it played anybody who hits as hard as Hannah does. But she does practice every day with men, so it could just be the fear in her that's adding to the seeming pace of, from Hannah. And she's wearing glasses, so these little spots of rain could affect her a touch. One four.
don't think Love that 15. Martina would see this return with clean glasses. Fifteen all. Just is a little drizzle falling. A bit troublesome for uh, Martina Navratilova. Thirty all. So one four, thirty all, first set. Forty, thirty. Oh. Just out. Deuce. Okay, Mr. Ratalova. Okay, Mr. Ratalova. It's Mandlikova leads four games to two. And here Martina is looking a little happier. The point before she had a shoulder high forehand which she liked to put away and there she put away her backhand into the open space. Fifteen love. And so is backhand volley there keeping very low. It had some backspin on it of course which always keeps the ball a little bit down but that one stayed down quite a bit. Well, complete misjudgment there, taking the ball early, or trying to, of course, but uh, actually running into the ball. Mandlikova leads five games to two, first set.
Let's just have a look at that last point here. There's the serve, it's short. Martina plays a top of the bound uh, return on the backhand, but that's a very poor lob really for uh, Martina. The, the shot on the backhand was very careful, not disguised, and uh, it was a very poor lob. So 5-2, and uh, Nandikova leads the first set. Well, to me, Dan, um, Martina's struggling. Mm. She doesn't like the the pace that uh, Hannah is producing, and she, to me, is not completely timing the ball on this court. She wanted to play that lob. Normally, she plays them well over the head of her opponent. And that last forehand where she tried to hit a winner, it was miles out of court. So, to me, Time. she's just not timing the ball off the floor, and she's looking a little worried at this point. And Hannah, in that last game, looking very composed, very much at peace with herself. And that, I think, is very important. Serving with new balls. Fifteen love. Forty love. Oh. Well, it was in. Martina doesn't think so, but the second serve was so short. Look at the, how short that second serve was. And how early, of course, her opponent took it. 40-15. Yes. Okay, Miss Miracolo. <laughs> Miss Mandlikova leads five games to three. So here comes the test for uh, Martina. Brilliant shot. And 
This is a vital point, and Hannah bent so beautifully to play that low volley, and Martinez lobbed much better time this one, and you expect a slower shot back than that. Fifteen thirty. Fifteen forty. Imported to break points. Yes. The game is Miracolo. It's Mandlikova leads five games to four. First set. And Hannah Manlikova here seems to be a little unhappy with her footwear. She changed her shoes at the last change of ends and now it would seem she's putting the original ones back on. It's still drizzling just a little tiny bit off and on. Um, and one wonders whether both players are slipping just a little bit, whether um, she's a little unhappy with the foothold on the court. And so while Hannah plays around with her shoes, the important thing is that she lost her service game. And there is the reason Time. why. There's been a lot of talk about um, Hannah having beaten Martina at the US Open, but it mustn't be forgotten that Martina has won four times since then. And of course, Martina will be drawing heavily on that particular point at this moment to give her the strength of mind to believe that she can recover. Now we come to the real crisis of this first set. 4 5. <laughs> 15 love. What a way to start her first ace. <laughs> 30 love. Oh, okay, Mr. Ravalo. Five games all. So seven points in a row for Martina, and three games in a row, including the break of serve, and a sign of weakness there on the part of the server. Fifteen long.
Thirty love. Thirty fifteen. <laughs> Such a strange love. situation. Forty love. Yes, she obviously the ball didn't score. Go. She's all there. Mr. Vineyard in the chair, just uh, miscalling score. Forty love. Quiet, please. First seven. Okay, Miss Mandlikova. Miss Mandlikova leads six games to five. First set. And I must say, having dropped those three games in a row and seven points in a row, and Amanda Kova played with quite a firmness there to take the lead again, 6-5. Yes, but she was helped quite a lot by Martina, wasn't she? Martina not really finding the court, not really challenging in that game. It almost seemed as though winning those three games uh, took such a lot out of Martina that Martina needed a rest in that game. Certainly, I think that on the last point, Hannah was so pleased with herself that she took a ball that was going out in full flight, hit it hard, and promptly went and sat down. She didn't look to see where the ball had gone at all. But I don't think that Martina has given up this set yet by a long way. It's her serve to come, and uh, she'll be Time. hoping to win that and play herself into a tiebreak. She looks quite composed to me. I don't think she's... I'm duly worried at this particular moment. So then, five, six. Fifteen, love. Thirty love. It's all right. Slipped a bit there. Certainly, the change in weather has changed the court. Thirty fifteen. For the second time in the match. A rather poor misjudgment by, uh, by the champion. Forty, fifteen. Oh, that's close. Forty, thirty. Six games all, first set, tie break. It's Mandlikova to serve.
Serena covering the court much better now than she was at the beginning. 1-0, Miss Navratilo. Her anticipation working well for her too. She reads that. You can see her moving off the mark before Hannah played that cross-court volley. One love. Two zero, Miss Navratilo. Good to the three zero, Miss Navratilo. Martina stands happily there to receive, having got uh, the initiative of break of serve. Miss And Hannah showing a lot of courage, I think, with this volley. Four, She's one, zero four down, and that wrong foot's Martina. Five one, Miss Navratilova. Five one. Come on, Hannah! And, oh, and two uh, breaks of service in hand. Miss Navratilova. So five set points for Miss Navratilova. Yes. First set. Yeah, and first set, Miss Navratilova. Seven games to six. So Betty Stover there, who uh, is training and managing uh, Anna Mandakova, the girl who herself was in three finals against Virginia, was in the three finals on the day when Virginia Wade beat her in the singles final. But I must say, a set of 43 minutes in which uh, the young lady in your picture there had a 5-2 lead and really looked as though she was going to carry that uh, first set without too much difficulty. And Virginia Wade, I'm sure you'll agree that she looked a winner of the set at 5-2. Well, the intriguing thing always with tennis is how things can change and how much harder it is to serve out that game at 5-3. It's always a decision whether to go for big first serves and possibly miss them because you're a little bit tighter Time. physically or to take down the pace a little bit and make sure you get them in. And it's difficult to do that against Martina because she returns so well. But so we've had two things happening. We've had... Martina starting off really out of form and Hannah absolutely not missing a ball. And the thing that Martina has done is absolutely settled down. She hasn't had the, shown the same panic in her face that she showed in Paris or in flashing last year. And now she's got so much confidence in this Second set, court. Miss Navratilova to serve. It's a very business-like affair, this. So one set. Fifteen love. Fifteen 
15 all. Thirty fifteen. Forty fifteen. The timing on the return of service by uh, Adam Andikova is deserted of Ramond. First game, second set. Miss Navratilova leads by one set to love. And Dan, way back at Eastbourne, which seems quite a long time ago now, Martina was saying that uh, how much her game on grass depended on her serve, and she spent hours on the practice court there practicing all the varieties, the slice, the kick, the big ace, and how well that is now paying off for her. In the first, her first three service games in the in this match she struggled and just won them out on deuce but since then she's really got her big guns going and uh, powered them in and this in turn has brought about a decline i think in hannah mandikova's return of course too for a for a player like martina or like any tennis player their game is elevated when their serve is working time She's actually served 20 first serves in, in a row, and that is absolutely incredible. So now we're going to see what Hannah Mandlikova is made of. Love one, second set. Fifteen, love. Oh, that was quite extraordinary anticipation there, or gambling, if you like. Thirty, love. That's a rather nasty bounce. <laughs> Forty fifteen. That's her first double court. That just shows how difficult uh, one game all, uh, second set. court is just behind the baseline there. I've seen that happen before when the court has been absolutely dry, when someone thrusting off to serve well has uh, actually fallen in the uh, act of serving. One all. Love. Thirties. Yes. Fifteen all.
Thirty fifteen. Thirty all. One game all, thirty all, second set. Great service. Forty, thirty. Oh, that's a great smash. Okay, Ms. Navratilova. Ms. Navratilova leads two games to one, second set. New balls. And Martina really playing well now and looking in control of this match. She stretches so beautifully for her serve and moves so quickly in behind it. She hesitated a little there, but is always behind the ball when she plays. Here again, a real athletic leap to finish off the game. Looking pleased with herself. Seeming to me now to be in control of all her shots. So it would seem that um, Hannah Manlikova is going to have to rely on retrieving some of the inspiration with which she started to cause more problems to the reigning champion. Strange how a match can change, as Virginia said. At first, Hannah was looking all pleased, Time. content with herself, and now looking over for some support from Betty in her moments of strife now. She needs a good service then. There's Betty, smiling encouragement, which is all she can do. But Hannah needs some good play now to re-establish herself in this match. Otherwise, it could slip away from her. One, two, second set. Serving with new balls. <laughs> Fifteen, love. Rather woeful second service. Fifteen and thirty. Is a really strong, firm, confident backhand pass. 15, 40. The, the uh, early ball off the backhand is very deep, and yet there is the perfect cross court pass to the junction of the service line. Best 
Navratilova leads three games to one, second set. So Martina, having misjudged a couple of uh, balls earlier, which cost her points, her opponent does the same on that one. So the break of service means a 3-1 lead, second set. And here's some of that inspiration with which Hannah started. Beautiful return of serve, left Martina skidding across the court. Fifteen all. Return. 15 30. And Hannah standing well into that one, taking it very much earlier. This is interesting. The second time running, she stepped right in, took it early, but that time, of course, played the angled shot. And it's one of two points, 15-40. left wondering where Hannah Mandlikova's lob was. Martina's so close to the net and in control. Advantage, Miss Navratilova. Well, it was a brilliant pick-up. She was always late on the ball, Martina, but she picked it up brilliantly in the end. Miss Navratilova leads four games to one, second set, and by one set to love. And in the box are Martina's family, her mother, father, and sister, who now can travel practically anywhere they care to. I remember the first time when Martina's mother was here and she was so excited about seeing her win and Martina was so thrilled to win when she was here and Mike Estep arriving there, never showing what he's feeling but I'm sure that this match, I think that Martina was really ready for this match, she knew how well Hannah was playing, she knew what she had to do and I think consequently this has been why she's managed to keep herself so much under check. Uh, she hasn't raced, she hasn't got frantic, she hasn't panicked. And it's strange Time. how moods change in matches because it's gone a little bit flat. And I think it's gone a little bit flat, the atmosphere out here, because Hannah feels dejected that she let that first set slip away. So now she's in real trouble. One four down the second set. Fifteen, love.
30 lakh. And certainly nothing wrong with that back in pass because the uh, service had been really attacked by uh, Martina. I'm quite sure that Hannah couldn't have had her eye on the ball there. She hit the ball right on the inside of the frame. Okay, Miss Mantecova. Navratilova leads four games to two, second set. So if Hannah Mandekova is to uh, stay in this match, she's got to break here, I think. second double fought and going for a very very accurate uh, second service there and paying the penalty Forty fifteen. Navratilova leads five games to two, second set, and by one set to love. Well, and it's hard to uh, believe that Martina, who was uh, playing in the first set so uh, uncertainly and so, um, so much off her serve, really, has uh, pulled this round like this largely through uh, getting her serve going, too, I think. Yes, I, I, I agree with you, Dan, as I said earlier. I think uh, most players play so much better when, they, when they're serving well, and this has happened in this case uh, to Martina. But I think um, it has to be said that Hannah's contributed to her own downfall to a degree. And here, the parents enjoying the... sharing the success with Martina. Or almost success, it would seem, at this point. But I think that Hannah relies so much on inspiration, and when the inspiration deserts her, Time. when she's playing well, the challenge comes, she's just unequal to the challenge in that first set, the inspiration goes, and then she finds it hard to fight back. When Martina was 5-2 down in the first set, you always felt that Martina could fight back. But here at 2-5 down, one wonders whether Hannah has the courage and ability to attempt it. Quiet, 
15 love. Thirty love. First service. And a second ace. Forty fifteen. First service. And Martina playing that backhand return quite casually, but uh, always watching the wall. Okay, Miss Mandlikova. <laughs> Miss Navratilova leads five games to three, second set. I wonder if we're going to see the start of a great recovery here. Or will Martina, having won the championship the last four times, will she blow it out with the big serve? Well, Hannah needs three more of these right now. That was a beauty. Well played. Fifteen all. Great shot. That was a beautiful leap out to that forehand volley. Yes. Five three, thirty all, second set. It's in. A slight mishit, but it's in. Very difficult, very difficult to anticipate and judge miss hits. Quiet. 
Quiet, please. Quiet, please. Thank you. Thank you. And her fifth ace. And the volley into the open court gives Martina championship point. Quiet, please. Quiet, please. That's it. Game seven match, Miss Nevakalova. Two sets to love, seven, six, six, three. So Martina takes her fifth championship in a row. And uh, Anna Manlikova there burying her face in the towel and wondering what happened to her game when she had such a glorious lead in the first set. But a very triumphant uh, Martina Navratilova. Her fifth successive championship, and she's equaled the record and a little tear there. And why not? And she's equaled the record of the great Mrs. Lambert Chambers, seven times the champion. And she's now only one short of the record of Helen Rose Moody. So in six matches, she hasn't lost a set. And uh, only 25 games up till today. And now we're waiting for the presentation and Her Royal Highness, the Duchess of Kent. And this is the, uh, the famous entrance from the locker rooms and down there, the royal box, they will come. As suggested that the ladies' singles trophy should be presented by the oldest living lady champion, this is Kitty Godfrey. So, a change. In the tradition, the cup going to be presented by Kitty Godfrey. And just going through the procedures as 90 year old Kitty Godfrey. And that, uh, that was a surprise to all of us, but a most pleasant one indeed. A great admirer of uh, Martina's game, Mrs. Godfrey, as we all are. And the Duke and Duchess of Kent come down. And there's Mrs. Godfrey with Buzzer Harrington, the chairman of the All England Club. Duchess thanking the ball boys who've done as always a first class job here and during that very hot weather a particularly exhausting job and Mrs. Godfrey there a remarkable woman 90 years of age still plays occasionally lives at East Sheen 
has had an operation on both hips, both hips replaced, and I have a little bit of film that I took over three years ago playing in the members tournament when she was running about, uh, not quite at her old speed of course, but running about and picking up uh, lobs and so on. So there's the lady at 29 years of age with all these titles, the Grand Slam winner. And the Royal Highness goes forward. So this is really a great pleasure, I'm sure, for everybody to have Mrs. Godfrey present the trophy. My first final, I saw her win in 1924 when she beat Helen Wills and again in 1926. A remarkable win. And just to remind you that this is the 93rd championship for the ladies. They started seven years after the men, and a big hand for Hannah Mandikova, who started so magnificently today, had that 5-2 lead, and then uh, Martina started to serve very well. And so the only Grand Slam championship that has eluded her so far is the Wimbledon again. She has the other three. And the umpire goes forward, Stephen Lingard from Yorkshire. The great prize for all the umpires to take the uh, final at Wimbledon. The championship referee, Mr. Alan Mills. Alan Mills, former Davis Cup player. The Great Britain, and who now has been uh, in this responsible job of the referee for some three or four years now, having had quite an apprenticeship uh, before. And no doubt very happy about the weather he's had so far, but I'm sure putting his hands together tonight, hoping we're not going to have any rain tomorrow. So that's the famous challenge trophy and it's presented by the All England Lawn Tennis and Trophy Club. And every famous woman player in the world through the years have appeared on that trophy. Over your head, shout the professional photographers. That'll go all around the world, that picture. <laughs> and Martina getting advice from everyone. To whom should she protect the trophy? Chris Gorringe with her, the chief executive of the club, whose uh, championship he has so wonderfully uh, organised the show. The Duchess and Mrs. Godfrey, and behind Buzzer Haddingham, chairman of the club, and 
Jeff Brown on the right, the chairman of the Lawn Tennis Association. The president, I beg your pardon, of the Lawn Tennis Association. Haven of the members' tea room behind the royal box for no doubt a cup of tea and strawberries and cream. And now carrying the bouquet, which as always before the match are presented to the two ladies by the referee and Chris Gorringe, the chief executive of the club. So Martino wins again and her work this weekend is not complete yet because later on uh, this evening she'll partner Pam Shriver in the final of the doubles and then tomorrow she's in the final of the mixed with Heinz Guntard. And, uh